Let's start with unpacking the Lasome R1 Smart Capsule Dishwasher. It's packed very safely. There is a lot of protection inside. Mind you, this is a prototype, but I'm told it's gonna come in a very similar box. And everything you need is packed safely inside the dishwasher. So if I told you that I've been using a dishwasher every single day for the last 20 years, does that make me a dishwasher expert? I hope so, because today we're talking about the Lasome R1. It's a brand new compact smart dishwasher. And I'm gonna be showing you how I connect it. I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm gonna show you the effects you can get out of it because it already is very small and it's got a beautiful design and you get everything you need in the box. And the great thing about it is that you can use it out and about. If you're camping and you want a dishwasher, this is the one to get because in the box, you're gonna get a jug. By the way, this video is sponsored by Lasome and this is a prototype, but it is no doubt identical or almost identical to the final product that you're gonna be able to purchase in the links down below. So you get a jug, two of these will fill up the little tank up here. And it's really simple. You pour the water in and you hear two beeps and it's full. And then you can put this, which is the outlet into a bucket, or you can put it in your sink if you have it on your kitchen countertop and the dirty water will come out here. It's got a nice little screen here and the screen is great because you have a whole load of different functions. If you want a quick wash in 15 minutes, you can do that. If you want a full power wash that hits like 72 degrees Celsius, then you can do that in 35 minutes. You can also sterilize with like plasmas. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And say you go away and you forget to take the dishes out of the dishwasher, which I've done a few times, and I did get told off because I came back and everything stank. This guy, every 24 hours, disinfects them. So they don't smell, it doesn't get, you know, moldy. It is the perfect dishwasher for someone who is lazy and doesn't want to wash dishes, it really is. And it looks beautiful, it comes in gray, and it also comes in white. And you get everything you need. Inside we have two spinners at the bottom. We have at the back, the world's first sweeping kind of technology. So it's not only spinning at the bottom, but it's also sweeping, which is pretty damn cool. You get a filter, so the filter is really easy. You stick it in there. It is worth cleaning that every now and then. You get a tray, which is pretty cool. And it's like a classic tray, so you can basically open and close everything in it. And you have a little tray for utensils. That slides in there like so. You close it down and that's about it. You can also wash vegetable and fruit in there. Sorry about the um, police. Um, you get a little bucket like this or tray, whatever you want to call it, and you can wash. It's a six minute wash. You're going to be able to see all this. So first of all, let me show you a bit of B-roll, talk a little bit about the um, technical specifications, what it can do, show you how to connect it and show you how to use it without anything in there at first. And then I'm going to show you it with the dishes so you can just get an idea of how this machine actually works and it works really well. I've used it, I'd say now for about 20 washes and every single time in every single program, it's done a fantastic job. So setting up is really easy. This is the water outlet hose, put it on and make sure the thumb screw is nice and tight so you have no leaks. This is the water inlet. Use this if you have that option. And this is the power plug and that's about it. Slide in the dishwasher rack put the actual utensil tray in and you're ready to go. If we turn it on, you're gonna have quick wash. It's a 15 minute ultra fast cleaning cycle. Daily wash is a 25 minute cycle, which kind of does more or less everything. Power wash is 35 minutes for very heavy grease. Smart wash, the AI makes the choice for you. It's like an auto mode. Fruit and veg is six minutes for cleaning your fruit and veg. And eco wash is 35 minutes plus a 25 minute dry time. A custom mode has also been added to the final production model, allowing you to choose how long it cleans. Sanitize and dry is 30 minute disinfection and in settings is where you make all your choices. So you can choose your water inlet setting. Are you gonna use a jug or are you gonna have it connected via hose? Change your language, your storage setting and your detergent setting. Are you gonna be using a liquid or are you gonna be using tablets? This is where you change all that. You can go back and then you can change it to whatever mode you wanna wash in. It really is that simple. To turn it off, press and hold the power button. Now, if you're wondering about detergents, I basically just stick 
the tablet in there. In Europe, I don't think there are liquids, maybe in America, but if you do have liquids, there is a little bucket up here, kind of like a, a compartment that you stick the liquid in, then slide it in there. And when you go through the menu, there is a point where you can select what detergent. So if it's gonna be using the actual detergent up here, or if you're just gonna be sticking a tablet in there. The same with the input, you can decide in the settings whether you're pouring water in the top or you have the input connected at the back straight from a water source. Once you have it set up, filling it up is really easy. Two full jugs should fill it up. And once you hear it beep twice, that's when you stop. The water should be a little bit higher than the filter you see. There is a water filter. It should look like this. Now, if you want, you can add detergent to this little box here and put it in. If you set it in the settings, then it will use that. Your machine will fill, and there's a little hole at the back where it fills it up in. When it's ready, it will turn on and start washing. Now, if you're interested about the specs, you can read them all online. I'm here to check if it works and let you know if I can recommend it. It does have the world's first sweeping jet technology, as you can see right here, which is really interesting. And there is steam that comes out the top. Be aware of that. It just means that it can, you know, get rid of the steam somewhere. If you want to pause it and open it, add something, you can do that. Open it, add something, close it, press play, and it will carry on washing. The glass on the actual machine is very sturdy. It's nice and hard, it's see-through. I mean, the machine is only 28 centimeters wide, but you can fit a lot into this machine. In fact, I'm gonna wash these dishes and do a little time-lapse so you can have a look at how quickly the dishes become clean using the rotating spray arms and their patented vertical sweeping arms, which are absolutely insane. Now, does it have 7,000 RPM high rotation speed, a 15 meter high pump lift, 45,000 PA high pressure? Well, it does, yeah. But um, does that mean anything to you? Well, to me, I can tell you, it cleans the dishes really well. So what I'm gonna do now is show you some candid footage from an action camera of this actually working. So it's not nice and pretty, but you guys can actually get a feeling of what it sounds like, what it looks like when it's washing. So it's, it's gonna be a lot more authentic and realistic. Let's get into that. Right, so at the moment it is finishing filling about halfway through and everything already inside looks very, very nice and clean. So um, it's got 13 minutes left and it's gonna carry on cleaning now. It's kind of drained a lot of that filthy, filthy water. And uh, now it's gonna carry on cleaning and in about 11 minutes, what's gonna happen is it's gonna drain all water again down into the bucket. Now, like I said, we are coming to an end now and it should stop any second now. Now when it does stop, what's gonna happen is it's gonna automatically open this door. So now it's draining again, there we go. That's pretty gross. And um, when it finishes draining, this door is held by magnets and it has a little bit right here in the middle which it pushes the door forward, lets all the air escape. And um, that's how it works at the very end. And it has a mixture of cool and warm air basically drying everything inside. Obviously nothing is gonna always be perfectly dry, so sterilizing and drying, there we go, watch this. That's it, that's the door opening, can you see that? It's happening absolutely automatically and all the steam is coming out right at the top there. I can feel it, it's very, very hot. Obviously 80 degrees is hot. And there you go, see it's opened it completely finished opening it and now all of it is coming out here oh yeah that is hot and you may not be able to hear it but it is actually cooling and all the air is coming out of this vent right out the back here I don't know if you guys can see that right there so what's happening now is at the end of the sterilization process it closes the door back and once it's on that you give it about 10 seconds and the whole process is completely finished and I think the door is closed now. There we go. And that's it. It's letting out a little bit more dirty water. That's filthy. That already is filthy. But I can see everything inside 
is really, really nice and clean and shiny. And I know you shouldn't put wooden, you know, cutting boards inside a dishwasher, but I think we all do, or at least most of us. The bamboo ones from Ikea, they break pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I think if we give it another few seconds, it should finish. There we go, completely quiet. And now it goes back to the old menu. And so we can open it and have a look what this all looks like inside. Let's have a look at it. Oh, that is hot. That is a hot plate, but look at that. That is shiny. Let's have a look at these, these mugs. Pristine, pristine inside. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that is looking nice and clean. Look at those glasses. Glasses are extremely hot, and I mean extremely hot. My cutting board, clean as a whistle. I would say everything in here is looking very, very nice and clean. Look at that. Look at that. It means I don't even have to wash anything. And, you know, obviously there are a few things that might be a little bit wet, like they usually are in a dishwasher, but they are very clean. It's not greasy inside. It looks good, feels good. And like I said, you can always forget about stuff and just leave it in there and, you know, it will disinfect it itself. So if this prototype is anything to go by, the final production model that you can pick up down here is gonna be absolutely spectacular. I would be proud having it in my kitchen, even as a talking point, because it looks so great. So if you're camping, if you don't like washing dishes, if you're, if you're old, elderly, a little bit older than me, <laughs> and you have a little space in your flat and you do want a dishwasher this thing is absolutely fantastic it's going to wash your dishes nicely it's got a whole load of functions and like i said you can basically use it anywhere with just a little bit of water and a bucket if you have any questions comments do drop them down below the links are all there like subscribe all that jazz i'm going to catch you on the next one